What's going on, my crew? This is Jay, and welcome to another episode of the Dark Trilogy. And in today's episode, we're going to be doing a few things. Hopefully, we'll see how long this is. Um, but first, to start us off, we're going to be going off of the last episode, uh, in which we talked a little bit about, um, or, or rather, we did a little bit of work on uh, the Batania stuff, and I want to continue that because today I want to try and see if we can build this Batania database and uh, see what's going on and get a little more focus of Batania. I mean, Batani. Botany. Botany. Not Batani. <laughs> okay. Um, so, take out this. We need golden nuggets. Bop, bop. There we go. And then we just need some water in the um, little thing here. So I did a little refresh of the inventory here. By that, I, of course, mean I literally just dumped everything into a chest. I need to stop doing that. Okay, dump that in here. Dump that in here. And now, what's wrong? 200. Hmm... Oh, okay, so it's not, it doesn't understand what it's making right now. That's interesting. Okay, um, look at all these little tubes that we have. I don't know what all this means, so I guess we're going to have to figure that out. Okay, botany database. Let's open this sucker up and see what we got for a database. Oh, so this, okay, how do we like, hmm, if we go like this, help, hold down tab key and mouse over controls, further mutations, Discovered species, undiscovered species. Whoa! To activate help tooltips, hold down the tab key and mouse over controls. Mouse, what? I don't know what. <laughs> um, okay. Well, I want to figure out, like, let's, let's get something in our inventory and see if it needs to be in our inventory to work. Because I'm curious about this. I'm very curious about this bot botany because there's literally, like, I've searched, maybe there's a new episode that I haven't seen of somebody doing something out, but at least from what I've searched, uh, I haven't found anything okay so that doesn't work what if I like try and insert it into the database well it says unknown that's why I'm wondering like can we take the pollen out of it how do we get pollen a mutron okay but how do we get actual pollen so this has the breeding species plus cornflower. How do we get cornflower? Tulip plus okay. Well, I, it still doesn't tell me how I'm supposed to get this. Hmm. Let's scroll the database over, or maybe we haven't found any new flowers. Maybe that's the problem. Like you see how it said like cornflower. Tulip, poppy. Now, why doesn't it have the tulip? And like I said, I need to figure out how am I supposed to discover new things. That's the question. I'm stumped. I really am on this bot uh, botany thing. Um, just because it, there's like no information on it whatsoever and uh, oh boy all right well 
I guess let's move on to another thing. Applied energistics. And applied energistics is, um, yeah, it's a mouthful. So, uh, one of the things we, really, that's, I've never seen that before. Uh, one of the things we can do here uh, with applied energistics is some pretty cool stuff. We want some dust. And what we can do with this dust is uh, make this little seeds. Uh, to get us started on a lot of these items, um, let's just go with a basic, here we go, ME drive. You'll notice we need these like crazy processors and stuff like that. We need an inscriber and a printed inscriber. Get this inscriber energy and things. And these we need to find in Skystone Meteor things um, to make these little components and storage drives and stuff like that. We need the energy processor again. Um, but what else do we need? We need these flux crystals. Well, how do we make a flux crystal? Good question. Drop one charged crystal quartz and one nether quartz uh, plus a redstone dust into a puddle next to each other and wait a moment to receive two flux crystals. Okay, so let's go get those materials. Ooh, what's this? A dead flower. <sighs> and my beautiful uh, orchids are gone. All right. One, two, three. Got to kind of get out of the way here. These won't de uh, despawn, I don't think. Three, three. And as you guys can see, they're working there. Okay. So we got ourselves our first step. So these fluke flux crystals. Okay. So what do we do with flux crystals? Well, there's a lot of things we can do with flux crystals. We have these energy cells. I wanted to look at the printed silicon. Okay, so we need a lot of inscriber silicon press things. Um, but as you guys can see, the first step uh, in getting the ME drive is we're going to need to get this inscriber. So we should probably build the inscriber right off the bat. So how do we do the inscriber? Well, we need a flux crystal and we need sticky pistons and iron ingots. Okay, now I'm sure this has to be powered by something. So we might need to drag some power over this way, which means I kind of want to put it right around here. Inscriber tool. So again, right now we don't have a way to inscribe anything. Um, we need these presses. These presses are found in meteors. Now it just so happens that we have a meteor right here. Uh, one of the cool things about this is that we can try and dig straight down. I, my guess is that this stuff isn't exactly in the middle. So, um, and I've, I've made this pickaxe basically one of the most beast pickaxes ever. So hopefully, oh yeah, this is gonna be, what is this, skystone chest. Wow, we really did. And I think that's exactly what we need. <laughs> that was easy. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so we need these glass cables. Again, we need um, pure flux crystals or flux crystals. And this guy right here looks like we just need nether quartz dust, which is very easy to make um, if we put it into a macerator, a pulverizer, a sag mill. I would prefer to use a sagmo personally, um, for obvious reasons, as you guys can see, we can get like a double dose of things. I didn't know about that, so that's interesting. Um, but I, what I want to get is I want to try and do these guys right here. So, inscriber, inscriber engineering press. So we can make another one with these. I'm thinking, oh, these are calculation presses. Crafting presses are found in the center of meteors, which can be found in the world. They are located by using a meteorite compass. But we can build one. Okay, so we can build these. 
So what is it that you can only find in those chests is my question. Hmm. Well, let's build one. Uh, they're built with quartz, some quartz crystal, and some redstone. Diamond. Do we have the quartz on us? Okay. This should work. Uh, what was the recipe again? I know I should shouldn't be doing this. Um, do do. Okay. So four. Okay. Got it. And then right here. And then of course we would do that to ourselves. Come on. Okay. And hopefully I don't forget this. I think it was the opposite. Let's see if it works anyways. I just did a little whistle with my mouth. There we go. Okay. And then we need a diamond. We need uh, engineer processor. So, which means we need redstone. We also need a printed silicon. Which printed silicon we need an inscriber silicon press. Which is made with silicon. Okay. So, maybe we can't do this all in this one episode. But... If we want to, which I think would be a good idea, um, let's at least get this inscriber thing going and kind of see how this works. Because I'm wondering and I'm curious. So take this guy out, put the inscribe engineering press in, and make two of these. Mm -hmm. Now, looks like we need some sort of power. Okay. Will this work? It will. Okay, so we hook it up with power from RF. And um, then we can get these printed. Did I just lose a diamond? I don't think I did. Uh, printed engineer circuits. Um, so let's go back to the ME drive here. Okay. And um, we need. Yep, we got that. So we need now. Come on. These printed silicons, which we need silicon for, which we put in um, clay or sand to get that. Not too hard. And then we need to put it into an inscriber and make the ins silicon thingy babob, which requires us to do the same thing, just with silicon in the middle. Okay. So, I think we're going to do that in the next episode. We get how it works. We'll have a Emmy drive by the next episode, and then we can kind of play around with that and see how that works, which I also think that needs power. So we're going to have to really hook up a massive machine here um, and, and kind of get some RFs moving. But before we're done this episode, I want to take one more look and see about if that bee is done. And if it is, then next episode, we'll figure out what's going on with those crazy bees. But not done yet. Until next time, happy mining and crafting!